Good morning, I'm Joey. This is Tackle Warehouse. First look at ICAST 2022 in Orlando. It's the last morning and we're here in the new product showcase and we're here because the best of show winners have been announced and we're here to take you through all of them. Come on, let's take a look. First up, we've got the award for best tackle management. That goes to Plano. Joining me is brand manager for Plano. Charlie, thanks so much for joining us yeah. this morning. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell us all about this award-winning new product. Yeah, so we are really excited about the Plano Edge Frog Box. And this has everything you love about Edge. It's come out, uh, what, three years ago. Um, one thing you'll notice about every Edge box, one-handed latch, easy label, nice clear lid, gaskets, it's got rust prevention, water wick, and this year we have designed the best way to hold on to hollow bodied frogs. Using these unique frog retainers, you can hang up to 50 hollow bodied baits. It protects the finish, protects the hook points, dries out those legs, and keeps the bait really, really in great fishing condition so legs aren't all mangled together. So if you like to store your baits and you're, you're really, um, you know, one of those guys that's really into organization, this is the best way to store those hollow bodied baits. You know, Charlie, I can't tell you how many frogs I've destroyed over the years uh, <laughs> by throwing them in a plastic bag, throwing them in my rod locker, yeah. uh, and then eventually throwing them in the trash. This is gonna solve that. It's gonna save me a lot of money. It's gonna keep my boat organized. This is a great new product. Another win for Plano. ICAST Best of Show, congratulations. Thank you for joining us this morning. All right, thank you. Up next, receiving the Best Fishing Line Award at ICAST 2022 is Chris from Spiderwire. He's the brand manager. Tell us all about the award-winning Spiderwire Durabraid. Well, you know what, Joey? We got a new color in high-vis yellow. And you know what? As you get older, you need something you can see. But what happens is a lot of those bass guys are throwing those jigs deep, and they need to see that line. Barely, barely twitch to see that subtle strike. So we're super happy about our new high-vis yellow, in addition to our moss green. Very cool. You know, high vis yellow, uh, at least for bass fishing applications, a lot of people think spinning reels, a lot of think, people think light line. I've seen a lot of guys going to heavier uh, high vis line for, for punching, for yep. flipping, for uh, a fluorocarbon leader, yep. just so they're able to track that. Like you said, little wind, little glare on the water, gets hard to see, it's great. Uh, but we also know this stuff is, is tougher than nails. Yep. A lot of guys on tour have been using this all year. We know a lot of those Florida hammers that are on the <laughs> Spiderwire staff have been putting this thing through their paces, and it's gonna be a great addition to the Spiderwire line. If you haven't checked it out, I know it's been available. A lot of our customers yep. have already Absolutely. got a lot of confidence in this line. Yep. Congratulations Thank again you. on the best uh, fishing line award, the Spiderwire Durabraid. Get it now. All right, joining me again, but this time on Friday morning to accept a pair of awards is my friend Nate from Berkeley, brand manager for Berkeley. Uh, and you won two big categories here. Berkeley won two big categories, not just uh, the best soft bait, but also the best hard lure. And it's really cool because they're kind of meant to pair together, right? Yep. So first up, we've got the Berkeley Slobber Knocker Vibrating Jig. Uh, tell us all about that. Yeah. So. This is uh, something that's been in development for the past couple of years. It's our version of a bladed jig. The big deal here is a through head blade design. So what that's gonna do is give the angler a couple benefits. Number one, uh, it's gonna come through cover better. So ripping through vegetation, there's nothing to, to catch here, right? It's, it's a streamlined surface. When it comes to coming over hard cover like a lay down, uh, it actually is almost like a snell knot where it, you, you're popping that hook up and over. So we know that it's been tough to fish bladed jigs through hard cover like that. Uh, that head design solves that. That being said, you're still getting ample blade to head contact. You're still gonna have all the water disturbance, um, sound, and overall, you know, what you really need out of a bladed jig down there. A couple other things, uh, power bait scented skirt, it's hand tied. We've got the Fusion 19 hook in a town style trailer keeper. It's gonna to help to keep that uh, trailer up on there without just cutting through it and ripping off. Very cool. We went in depth uh, with John Cox and Justin Lucas on this uh, on day one before it won the award. Um, they neglected to mention the hard cover aspect there to me. They must've been trying to keep that a secret, but really that has been the fatal flaw of, of a lot of vibrating jigs is uh, you know, you're going down the bank, you come up to that lay down where you know there's a big one. 
Right. And if you're gonna fish it around there, you're getting hung up. So this is really addressing one of the, 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 the very few weak points of a vibrating jig. Uh, very excited, uh, very unique uh, head connection there to the blade, really cool. And that keeper is meant to hold the best of show soft bait, right? Absolutely. And that's the brand new Berkeley Stinger. Uh, and that's a, that's a soft plastic trailer with some really unique uh, attributes. Tell us all about that. Yep, so what we wanted to do was set out here and, and create a trailer that was durable, but also had ample action. Uh, we took our learnings from the Gilly last year and basically inverse that technology. So we took material out. It's a honeycomb style uh, design on the tail here. So you can see, I mean, it's as supple as it gets, uh, but the head is dense. So by removing material out of the tail, we were able to increase the density of the plastic as a whole. So you don't have, uh, you know, your trailer constantly ripping off. When you're fishing a bladed jig, you want to cover water, you're skipping it you're putting it where it needs to go. You don't want to have to constantly reapply your trailer, right? So the Power Stinger comes in two different sizes, a four, two, five, and a three and a half. Uh, we've got four HD colors like this one uh, and 12 standard colors. So you're going to be able to match whatever forge you're going after and put more fish in the boat. Really cool. I know, I know the Berkeley Pro Staff has been so excited to get these two baits, get them out on tour. You know it's going to be a tournament winner. Uh, very cool. Congratulations again for the two awards, not just best of show, uh, hard lure, but also soft bait, uh, a, you know, a clean sweep in the freshwater lure category there. Congratulations Absolutely. again. All right, make sure you check back on the site. We've got a great vlog series with Justin Lucas fishing these exact baits and just crushing them. All right, up next, we've got best of show saltwater rod. I know we mostly do bass fishing, but we have some crossover stuff. And here to, to present uh, the best saltwater rod winner is Michael, brand manager of Ugly Stick. Michael, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, you know, Ugly Stick has such a, such a warm spot in so many of our hearts. So many of us grew up fishing Ugly Stick. Uh, and congratulations on the best uh, new rod here. It's the Ugly Stick Carbon Inshore. Tell us all about this. Yeah, Joey, we're happy to be here. Really excited about this product launch. It's the Ugly Stick Carbon Inshore, designed specifically for the inshore fisheries with a lot of crossover in uh, bass as well. Uh, from a construction standpoint, we're using a 24 ton uh, carbon across the whole rod. And up the tip section of the rod is a one piece solid graphite tip, which enhances your sensitivity. On our guides, we have one piece stainless steel, ugly tough guides, fishable with all types of braid, mono, fluoro, you name it. And in the grip section, we use cork on the foregrips and rubber shrink tubes on the rear grip handles. Fuji reel seats across the board, and uh, yeah, ugly stick carbon rods, really exciting. Really cool. Uh, a couple of throwbacks to the old ugly stick cosmetics, but this very cool. Wait, what's the color of the rod? Do you it's know? It's a seafoam green color, seafoam so green. Uh, it's definitely going to turn some heads on the water and uh, stand out at retail. Yeah, it's a great looking rod, uh, and we know it's it's going to be built ugly stick tough. Definitely. Not going to break this thing. Uh, go get yours. Available for pre-order now at tacklewarehouse.com. Joining me next is Ben, brand manager of Penn to accept the best saltwater reel. Uh, we know Penn is all about strength and durability, but also performance. This is the brand new flagship reel. It's the authority, right? Yep. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so what we did on these, it's an entirely new line for us. The first thing, we wanted to make the absolute best spinning reel that we could. Um, so the first thing, at least with Penn, it comes, like you said, durability. First thing that comes to mind is gearing and the ceiling. Um, anything in salt water, we talk about sealing, but it crosses over to fresh water as well. People are cleaning off their products, you know, spraying them off at the end of the day, whatever. Especially like California, you got brackish water, all that type of stuff. Um, you need to take care of your equipment. So first thing right here on the rotor, we have IPX8. What that means, that actually means that these are submersible reels. You can go down a meter deep for 30 minutes. No water is actually going to get into the gearbox or into the, uh, the drag system up here. On the inside, like I had mentioned before, we have oversized stainless steel gears, so it doesn't matter what you catch on this reel, mistaken hookups, huge carp, whatever, your reel is going to end up lasting. Um, overall, we have our Duradrag system up here. So this is a 2500 size, this is the smallest one in the line, but we have our Duradrag system and this actually starts at 20 pounds of max drag. So like I said, whatever you hook into, you're going to be able to get it in. And then we have a full range of sizes for whatever you're doing. Um, and then in the box, you also get, in addition to this metal handle knob, you're going to get a Hypalon handle knob. So it's a really lightweight, rubberized, textured knob. And you just unscrew this right here, pop on the new one, and you're good to go. 
Awesome. Really, uh, the the crossroads of, of performance, durability, and a really great looking package. Yep. This is a great looking reel. Available down. You know, we're we're talking bass fishing core sizes, twenty five hundred. Yep. Um, I know you guys make some giants that we're yep. not, we're probably not going to carry <laughs> here, but uh, but one it, note on the sizing, we have uh, twenty five hundred, and we have a high speed model in there as well. Oh, really cool. Yep. Awesome. Uh, great looking reel, and we'll have this available very soon at tacklewarehouse.com. Up next is the best boating accessory winner. Greg, the brand manager of Fraybill is here to present an aerator that just won the award for, for best boating accessory. Tell us all about it, Greg. This is awesome, Joey. This is one of the first rechargeable aerators on the market. It'll run 45 plus hours to give you extended time. It's rechargeable via a USB port. It's got three modes on it. It's got a high mode, it's got a low mode, and it's got an intermittent road mode that runs every 10 seconds or so. It comes with a deluxe airstone, and again, it'll run 45 hours plus, so it's a perfect application for, for people not wanting to buy batteries all the time or, or rechargers that, or aerators that run out. Sure, sure. You know, Greg, like, I, my first boat was a, was a deep V. Uh, I fished out of a kayak before that, and it, I was always trying to rig something up. And man, I wish I would have had this, because I had a mountain of AA batteries that I would go through. Uh, you know, every, every trip I'd run through batteries. This is gonna solve that, uh, keep your fish alive. Maybe, hey, if you're dip netting some shad, it's gonna keep those alive. Uh, uh, a great new product, uh, an exciting win for you guys for best boating accessory. Congratulations. Thanks, Joey. Yeah, check it out soon at TackleWarehouse.com. Greg is joining us again, <laughs> Fraybill brand manager, to accept another award for best fishing accessory. Uh, this is a brand new net. We're going to try to keep the Three Stooges Act out of this, and you're going to try to not send me to the hospital by, by flinging this net around. But Greg, there's so much of a focus on conservation, fish care. Tell us about how this net is really uh, going, to, going to allow you to take that to the next level. Right. Thanks, Joey. Uh, this net is probably the, the most innovative thing in the show. We've got a built-in scale. There's no other net on the market that has a built-in scale. And it's built with Frable quality and all the Frable features that all of our consumers and anglers have come to know and trust. This is an, an aluminum handle with a rubber grip. It's got an integrated 30-inch scale. Comes with our mesh guard hoop to protect the netting. Comes with dip conservation netting. It's much easier on the fish and a flat bottom. But the most unique feature of this scale, Joey, of this net, Joey, is the scale. Simple, intuitive, easy to use. Simply power it up. Tear it to zero, scoop your fish. Within a couple seconds, you have a good weight for your fish. Remove the hook and simply release it. Much easier on the fish and a great product, easy to use. Very cool. You know, I, I just hate hanging a big fish by a scale and, and right. you know, knowing you're putting stress on it. This is really gonna fix that. And, and is there an upper, uh, limit to the poundage on this? Yeah, it'll weigh up to 30 pounds. Okay, so it's gonna take care of any bass uh, that you're gonna catch, unless you are literally the luckiest bass angler on the face <laughs> of the earth uh, and catch a new world record. And it will almost weigh the steak that Corey ate last night. You bet. All right, great new product, an award-winning product, a hybrid scale net. Check it out uh, for pre-order soon at tacklewarehouse.com. Up next, we've got Carl Jockamson joining me again to talk about the best electronic winner for iCast 2022. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Humminbird new target lock. You yeah. know, we talked all about this yep. uh, a couple of days ago, and it was mounted on an Ultrex, which kind of makes it a little easier to visualize. Yeah. But take us back through uh, this great new accessory for the Mega Live. Yeah, so it's one best electronic product here at iCast 2022 and, and not surprising to me. The technology is, is absolutely insane. For me, um, we fit up this, in my shop, we had all the anglers from both sides, Elite, MLF, coming up to my shop, fitting it up and then going down to the lake and testing it. My first 10 minutes on the lake, I'm driving along and one of the um, technicians that had a lot to do with designing this walks out the front, he's like, you might like this feature. We see a stump on 360, hold my finger on it, does a circle, 
says target lock. I hit it, live swings around, locks onto that stump and never lets go. And I do a full circle around this stump, catch a five and a six pounder off of it. And uh, just, I was like, this is the greatest piece of technology that I have on my boat. And I would have said spot lock is before that. And now I've got spot lock back. So it's a separate arm, a totally separate arm that's gonna fit up to your Ultrex. Um, yeah, mine was the very first boat to fit up, and once we fit that up, the others took less than 30 minutes to fit them up on the boat. Um, you can buy the, you can buy this unit um, itself, and then fit if you've already bought a Mega Live. You can fit your Mega Live to it, or you can buy, buy the whole unit, you know, fully set up. Um, you're gonna, you can control it by a foot pedal. Uh, it actually has a hand control. You can have around your neck or in your pocket. This is a full customizable button. I can have this to have Minko to steer. I can have it for target lock. I can have it for sweep. There's a lot of customized um, you know, options that you can use with it. And, um, and then you don't lose the power of following your Minko to either. So you can put it in Minko to steer. It's gonna follow uh, your trolling motor at the same time. So you just, pretty much you got spot lock back and you got the best of every world when it comes to um, live technology and fishing. And then you've got target lock, which is just mind blowing. I've used it from Pickwick um, up north on the boulders on Smallmouth, my home Lake Chickamauga, and it's literally helped me catch so many fish and sort of just made fishing more enjoyable because I'm able to spot lock at different angles and target different um, structures. And it's no surprise that they won best ele electronic product here at iCast. Absolutely, no, no surprise here. And, and like you said, really, I don't think anyone doubts the power of live sonar but the frustrating part has been boat control, boat positioning, yep. while maintaining uh, your, your attack on your live sonar there. Uh, so this has fixed that problem. Until now, we've yeah. had two options. One is some sort of manual device, yeah. and then the other is uh, just following wherever yeah, your following trolling the motor trolling head motor. is. Yeah. So this is really gonna change change the situation there. Uh, like you said, there, there are a total of four products involved in this launch. Yep the entire complete target lock with transducer, Mega Live transducer mounted. Uh, there's the target lock accessory. If you already have a Mega Live transducer, there's the hybrid 360 and live yep. mount that will allow you to mount to your old Trex motor, both the target lock and the Humminbird 360, yep. which we talked a lot That's about. This live does not replace 360. Yeah. You guys work in they work together, both and of them. Yeah, and that's what made it so uh, incredible. Like myself and Brandon, and a few we catch. I tell people I catch more fish off 360 than anything else, and this is like just makes 360 like a thousand times better when you put them together because you're able to look down, see the structure, see the drop, see the fish, and then live tells you what's going on on that spot in live time, and then see what your bait's doing, see what those how those fish are reacting. So they're the ultimate set up and you can get a double bracket and they'll both sit off your old tracks together and yeah like you said there has been a lot of homemade devices just to get a, a live unit um, off of your trolling motor but it's a what from what I can tell it's a lot of mucking around to be able to get it done this when I put my trolling motor down it's done I'm ready to go lives working 360s working my mincoders working spot locks working in one go so they've just simplified everything Getting rid of all of the mucking around. Yeah, mucking around. <laughs> you know, when we talked the other day, I had no doubt that we were gonna be here again at the Best of Show Awards, yep. uh, talking to you again about the new Target Lock. Uh, congratulations to Hummingbird, a great new product here. Uh, you mentioned Chickamauga's your, your home lake. Yep. Chickamauga could have been your home lake in Australia too. It sounds like an Australian <laughs> word. Yeah, right, yep. for sure. Uh, for so sure. yeah, well, travel home safe. <laughs> thank thanks you. For, thanks for taking us through this. Again, this is the uh, Humminbird Target Lock, best electronic product winner. Check it out. It's available uh, for pre-order. We might actually have some in stock right now at Tackle Warehouse. So go check that out right now, get yours. All right, up next, joining me to accept the best saltwater hard lure is Brett from Live Target. Brett, congratulations on this iCast award. Yeah, thank you very much. This is the Live Target Live Shrimp. Tell us all about this. Well, it's, uh, it's our new bait uh, meant to mimic a fleeing shrimp. Obviously, it's Live Target, so it's going to be super realistic. Everything that 
Everything that you look at is gonna look like a live shrimp, like the real thing, but what we've really done is stepped up the game in the action department. So the action of this is also very realistic. You got the hard, uh, the soft plastic, the TPE, soft plastic for the legs and the swimmerettes, very durable. You got everything to, to mimic a live shrimp, including a little rattle on the inside. So when you run this bait, there's a light ticking sound meant to sound just like a live shrimp. What really sets this bait apart, however, is that right on the bottom down here, you can attach a weight. That weight will swing on there a little bit and it'll give it a different action. You got different size weights that you can put on it to change up the action just a little bit. It'll control the, the speed of the descent when the bait drops. You can twitch it off the bottom, you can crank it along the bottom, and it'll give it a little bit of a wobble as it goes. Very cool. Uh, we, we know everything in inshore waters eats a shrimp. Uh, very versatile with the weight system there. Super cool, a deserving award for best saltwater hard lure. Thanks for joining us. You can get these soon for pre-order at tacklewarehouse.com. Joining us from Shimano to accept the best freshwater reel is JP DeRose. JP, thank you for joining us. Uh, winning this year the ICAST Best Freshwater Reel Award is the brand new Stella FK. Tell us all about it. Well, you know what? Stella is the flagship for Shimano. It always has been. And I really shouldn't accept the award because this goes to our engineers. This is what Shimano tasks our engineers with every year. The goal is to make something that nobody's ever seen before. And the Stella FL has all of that. It's amazing. So six new, really unique new tech features on this reel that made it stand out and obviously made the voters feel like it was what they, they wanted. So first off, Infinity Evolution is kind of the theme of the new Stella, and what it starts with is Infinity Drive. Infinity Drive started on the Stella SW, but really it is where they've taken the drive shaft that brings the spool up and down and run it through the pinion gear rather than being supported by it. And because of that, you've got unparalleled winding torque. Infinity Cross is a brand new tooth design. Now, the thing that you could say Stella, or actually all Shimano reels, live on is the Hagane cold forged aluminum drive gear. This is the most latest perfect design tooth wear. So basically what you're getting is a combination of more torque under load, both winding and between gear contact. And then the other thing would be infinity loop. Now this is where you really notice it. If you grabbed another reel and you spin that reel, you'll notice how slow Stella oscillates. And what they're creating is a very tight winding pattern on the reel. So you've got less times your line is changing angles and it improves casting distance and line management. And probably the one I'd want to talk about, it would be the new drag. So we have a Dura cross drag. So uh, a lot of reels, high pressure reels, use a cross carbon drag, high running, hard running fish. And what they've done is instead of having a mashed carbon material, they've created a woven blanket. So you get the smoothness of a felt drag with the durability of a cross carbon drag. And that's really important because Finesse situations, spinning is where it really excels. You know, you, all those smallmouth guys, all those finesse panfish guys, that's what it's all about. And you've got a drag that's gonna be 20 times more durable than a standard drag, but the smoothness of felt, durability across carbon. That's really awesome. You know, I, I, you're talking about the drag, that's so important in spinning reels. Yes. Uh, and I think people don't always realize that when you're engineering a spinning reel, there are so many right angles. There's so many points where you lose rigidity, yes. lose performance, lose durability, lose smoothness, and really, I mean, this is the best you're gonna get in terms of all of those. And, and what consumers should look forward to is the fact that this reel will drive Shimano's tech in their reels for years to come. What we're seeing in a $100 reel now was once what Stella was. So this is the future. I would say for the next dozen years, what you find in this will drive Shimano's spinning reels moving forward. Now, Stella's available in a 1,000 to 2,500, a C3,000, 4,000, and C5,000 size. And the nice part is, it's the standard, what you come to love about Shimano. The 1,000 kicks out seven pounds of drag, the 2,500 and 3,000, 20 pounds of drag, and then 24 pounds of drag on the four and 5,000. So, even if you wanna stop a big old nasty redfish, this reel's gonna be able to do it. You got it, you got it. For the angler that really wants the best of the best in spinning, the new Stella FK, available for pre-order now at Tackle Warehouse. Also, the best freshwater reel award at ICAST. Big congratulations to Shimano. Thank you, JP. Much appreciated. All right, up next, a friend of mine, a grizzled ICAST veteran. Indeed. Glenn from Z-Man, accepting the best salt, well, not accepting, the winner. The winner. The winner of the best saltwater soft lure the here at ICAST 2022. Mm -hmm. Glenn, 
Tell us all about this. All right, so this is the kicker crabs. Are you familiar? There's a lot of realistic looking crab patterns out there and crab lures that look really, really good, but most of them just don't have any action. They don't move, they don't do anything. They just kind of sit there, right? Mm -hmm. So we wanted to have a more realistic crab, something that actually moves, has some action, because when you actually see a crab naturally going across the bottom, a lot of times they have a claw trailing behind them. Okay, so, and that's what we did here. So we created a profile of this with a claw. So the claw is gonna be trailing behind this guy as he's scooting across the bottom. So it acts like a little swim bait. We've got this little boot tail on here. So this is gonna kick and cause some vibration and get, get everything moving. So when the fish see that, they know exactly what, they, what that is. Cause you look at the profile, we've got the detail of the eyes and everything on here, the little legs right here. And then of course the paddle tail here with the claw. So it's got a, mm. what we call a mm -hmm. kicker claw. So this guy, because it's elastic as well, it's super soft, it doesn't take anything to get this moving in the water. So it, you know, as soon as you start moving it, it takes off. So you can rig this on uh, things. That we, we like to rig it on the snake locks jig head. Our pro bullets is a really good one for this as well. Or just a, a hook like the weighted chin locks is another really good way to keep it keeled. But what we did here is you can see this little keel on the bottom. I did notice that. Yeah, that's to keep it balanced so that it doesn't want to roll or go one way or the other. So it gives you a keel point right here. And of course, with the buoyancy, it's always going to be upright anyway. So the rest of it just comes down to how you want to present it. Do you want it more level? Do you want it up when it stops? Like if you put it on a snake lock and you stop it, it's just going to raise up like this. That claw is going to move up like this. And the other thing that we found with this guy too, when it's scooting across the, the water, it can also look like a small baby flounder that's taken off. You ever seen like kicking up out of the sand when you're out there and they just boop and take off and boop and take off like that? That's exactly what this looks like too. So it's going to appeal to a lot of different fish, trout, redfish, tarpon, everything. I even caught a bass on it once too. So <laughs> it's, it's just a really, really neat, unique design for a crab lure. So we're, I mean, we were thrilled to get this award and we felt it really kind of deserved it because it's been a while since anybody's really had an original design for a crab lure like that. Very cool. The new Kicker Crabs from Z-Man available for pre-order soon at TackleWarehouse.com. Thanks sure for is. joining us. Oh, my pleasure, Joey. All right. All right. We're not saying goodbye to Glenn yet because Z-Man won another award for best terminal tackle. Isn't that right? They did. It's the new Diesel Eye Jig Heads. Tell yes. us all about it. The Diesel Eye was kind of designed to match up with some of our oversized swim baits, our five inch, seven inch diesel minnows, our heroes, mag swims, baits like that. And we wanted something that was also heavy duty, you know, for guys throwing big stripers, tarpon, all that kind of stuff. And so that's why we developed the diesel eye. And we also wanted to take advantage of the popularity of our iStrike series of jig heads, because I mean, people love these things. So what we did is we came up with the diesel eye and we make these in six aught and eight aught, three quarter ounce to three ounce. So we go pretty heavy on these things. But one of the things that's really unique about this is the actual hook itself. It's, an actually, it's actually a tri-forged hook. So it's forged on three sides. So that means you just, you can't open this thing up. I mean, there's like no flex in here at all. This is a very, very stout, very unique design for a hook, but it's also something we didn't have to go with a super heavy diameter here either. So you still get good hook penetration and a good hook set, but you've got the strength of a tri-forged hook, which is very, very unique. So, I mean, we were really, really excited about these, and we know a lot of guys were waiting for this to pair up with some of our bigger swim baits. Sure. You know, Glenn, I noticed the the, the hook design there right off the bat. I was trying to figure it out, and yeah. uh, I'm not I'm not as sharp as this hook, so <laughs> I couldn't quite figure out what was going going on there. Uh, we'll get a close up shot of that. That's really interesting how how it's got uh, the 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 triangular uh, wire design. Uh, mm -hmm. going to make for a really sharp hook, a really sturdy hook, uh, a great jig head to pair with some of your Z-Man plastics. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. All right, congratulations again on the award. Uh, these Thank will you. be available for pre-order at TackleWarehouse.com. All right, I'm here with Drew Cook. Drew, thanks for joining us. And we're here to talk about the iCast best of show for the category of footwear, the brand new AFCO ankle deck boot, isn't that right? That's right, yeah, the new AFCO ankle deck boot, um, it's something that, that us pros have been asking for for a couple years now, uh, a really good, tough, strong, waterproof boot, so whenever we have all of our rain gear on, you know, we can keep everything dry. Uh, a couple key things that, that I'm really excited about in this boot is it's got a really extra sole on it. So. Whenever it's hot and you're walking across that asphalt parking lot, I mean, you don't only just wear these on a boat. You got to wear them to and from, and that's what really kills a lot of the soles on these on these boots. Um, so, gonna get a lot more use out of them. Um, also, the the tab for putting the shoe on and off is a is a really big key. A lot of them normally just have a, a little piece of uh, cloth back here that you end up eventually ripping. This is actually fully integrated into the bottom of the boot, so you're not gonna rip that off. 
Um, they're gonna have a, a lot more tow wear area up here, so it's gonna be a lot thicker, especially with offshore guys. You know, you grab on the side of the gunnel, you hold on you know, with your big toe. So that's not gonna be an issue here. It's gonna have a great support um, you know, in the shoe, so your back's not gonna hurt all day after wearing these. Um, and I'm really looking forward to them. You know, Drew, uh, I, I always wear deck boots when it's raining, full rain gear, but uh, two big problems I've always had are, are just, man, my feet are killing me by the end of the day. No I can see support. all the support yep. these boots have. The other thing is, especially if you have a big knobbly hiking boot or uh, a big grippy boot, it's hard to run the trolling motor. Absolutely. And these look like they're just gonna be a breeze to run the trolling motor. You're gonna get good feel, good support. You're gonna be dry and comfortable all day. Yeah, and this is gonna be a, a breeze and the way the pattern is, like you're not gonna slip on the dock and that's one of the issues you have to worry about whenever it's raining and you're getting off on these rubber boots is actually taking a fall and hurting yourself. So a lot of traction there. We're not gonna have that issue. And, and like I said, your back's not gonna hurt. Your calves aren't gonna hurt going to be a breeze to run the troll motor all day. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for telling us about the best uh, best of show winner for the footwear category, the AFCO ankle deck boot. That's right. All right. Congratulations, AFCO. Check thank them you. out at Tackle Warehouse. Up next, two of four, I think, from AFCO. Uh, we're talking about the best in show ICAST 2022 lifestyle apparel for women. That's the brand new uh, Afco Reaper soft shell jacket, right? And it's windproof? Yeah, the windproof Reaper. Tell um, us all about it. You know, this is something that we've had for about three years now. Um, we finally made a, a woman's version of it. This is a jacket that I really do love. Uh, this material, it, it's it's not waterproof. I'm not gonna tell you it's waterproof, but it's water resistant. And so anytime that it's really cold, you wanna put this jacket on, the wind's not gonna cut through it, but, you know, like a regular fleece jacket perfect for fishing and it's great base layer if you have actual rain jacket over top of it you know for those pop-up showers that you know in between it's just misting stuff like that but you know it's got the same hood as always um, you know it's all insulated this I mean it pretty much makes heat uh, it's got zipper pockets so you can put stuff in there and not have it fall out and it's not a you know a full through pocket so you can put things in both sides I love this jacket. I wear this jacket anytime that it that it's cold. Um, whenever I'm fishing on the Elite Series, and now that we have a women's in it, I believe it's going to have a place in a lot of a lot of outdoor women's closets. Absolutely. You know, uh, you and I both have a lot of a lot of experience, a lot of thankful days when it's uh, when it is cold and blowing that Absolutely. we got that Reaper. Uh, I think the ladies are really going to enjoy this new new cut, new take on the Reaper. Uh, and congratulations again to AFCO for another award for Women's Lifestyle Apparel. You can check this out. You can pre-order it on Tackle Warehouse very soon. Hey, Coconut. We're here with another AFCO Best of Show Award. This one is for Best Lifestyle Apparel for Men. And this, these are coconut shorts. Mr. Michael Neal, tell us all about it. So these are the Coco Bordy shorts, and AFCO is always innovative, coming up with something new. They actually took coconuts and put them into the fabric of the shorts. Uh, you know, everything AFCO has always been known for, moisture wicking material, super comfortable. It's got some stretch to it. Got a plier pocket over here, nice drawstring. So, you know, these are just a lifestyle short. Anything you want to do, you want to go out to eat in them, you want to go to the beach, you want to go fishing, whatever you want to do, you can do that with these shorts. Very cool. You know. Like you said, innovation, uh, conservation. If there was a best of show award for conservation, AFCO is going to win it. Uh, definitely an innovative, very interesting take on some boardies here, uh, and and an award-winning uh, one at that. These shorts will be available soon for pre-order at TackleWarehouse.com. Joining me once again is Mr. Michael Neal to tell us all about the Barricade rain suit, which won another yet another award for AFCO, the ICAST Best of Show Award for Best Cold Weather Technical Apparel. Uh, it's a jacket, it's a bib. Tell us all about the barricade. So the suit overall is going to run you about $500 for the pair. This essentially is the same barricade that we've had, just the green acid camo color is what the difference was for the Best of Show this year. Uh, start off with a jacket, you got the speed vent hood, so it's not going to be back here flapping, trying to come off your head going down the lake. My favorite part is the cuffs. You know, that's always been a problem. You're fishing, you got your hands up, water's trying to run down your sleeves. It's got the double cuff system, one for right around your wrist, and then another one just to overlap that, just to get 
a little bit more waterproofness there. Uh, it's a 20K waterproof material and it's very, very breathable. So that's gonna keep you a little bit cooler in the summertime, springtime situations. Same thing with the bibs. Uh, it's got the, uh, it doesn't have a zipper, so that's one less place to have to worry about leakage in the front. Uh, adjustable straps, and then it's adjustable down here at the bottom also. You can unzip it to get boots in or whatever you wanna do. Strap it back down, zip it down. You're good to go. Uh, stay dry in the Barricade Elite. You know, I, I think a lot of our customers have already tried and fallen in love with the Barricade. I know it's already a huge hit for AFCO, uh, and, and I'm sure people are gonna love it. What's the color again? It's green acid camo. Green acid camo. Yep. Sure enough, uh, it's a great color and a great product, and it won a great award, the ICAF Best of Show for Cold Weather Technical Apparel. Congrats, AFCO, to four awards. Thank you, Michael Neal, for taking us through it. Thank we you. Appreciate it. Another year, another trip to the St. Croix booth for another Best of Show category winner. This is Best of Show for Freshwater Rod. It's the brand new Legend Tournament Bass Grasp, right? right? Yep. And, and Ryan, this is Ryan from St. Croix, by the way. Yep. Ryan, thank you for joining us. This is a advanced sample that caused quite a stir in the office when we got it yeah. because it's so different. Tell right. us all about this great new uh, product from St. Croix. Right, so the original design is really way back in the 1940s, okay? It is St. Croix's take on that design. And what it is, it is our take on building a real seat that is just ergonomically superior. Now, it's not just about the ergonomics with this, okay? So we paid a lot of attention to the geometries, but it also is the coating on the outside of it. It's incredibly durable, it's very tactile, and you can feel it in your hand, it's gonna stay in your hand when you're throwing a, you know, you're throwing an A-rig, you're throwing a single hook swim bait. Grasp is different though, because it keeps your hand in a natural palming way in this reel. It keeps you in a very favorable position to fish longer, make more casts, Okay, being more in control, because obviously it doesn't roll, uh, and it makes fishing these larger, low-profile reels. Okay, let's talk about them. Uh, Lexus, okay, Tatula's, okay, the big Tatula, the old 300E Greenie, that one right there, uh, you know, Rockets, big Revos. It makes fishing these things just a pleasurable experience. Be able to put it in your hand, rest it nicely, pull an A-Rig, pull a big swim bait all day long. You know, Ryan, non fisher people are always saying to me, oh, poor you, yeah. you poor guy, you had to go fish for 12, 14 hours pre-fishing for a tournament or right, whatever. Right, right. If you're throwing big rods, big line, heavy baits, A-rigs, yeah. swim baits, like you were saying, it is an exhausting affair. And I can't tell you how many times, especially yeah. big fish, right. big rods, big reels, I'm coming up and getting all cattywampus on the hook set because I don't have the proper leverage. This is really designed to fix that. And I, I want your focus as an angler to not be on you know a part of your body that's maybe wearing down after you get six hours into your day. Yeah. Because I want you focused on that. I want you focused on fishing. So you stay engaged, be prepared when the moment strikes and be able to capitalize on when that big fish, that fish of a lifetime can grab on that rock. Sure, sure. Now Ryan, all the focus is on the real seat because mm -hmm. it's different, right? Yeah, but uh, so. these are these are excellent, you know, this is a extension of the Legend Tournament series. Absolutely. Uh, great Great blank, great components. Yep. Uh, just gonna be a pleasure to fish these. It is, you know, we brought out Legend Tournament back around that classic Red Crest time. Um, there were three models that were missing in the lineup. And three models that had come out with Bass X and they came out with Victory were the bigger swim bait rods. You know, and there was people asking, you know, what, why didn't you go that direction? And that was, that was keeping this pretty tight to the vest and waiting until this platform to release this. Legend Tournament in general, compared to the old ones, um, three quarters of an ounce to an ounce and three quarters lighter than comparable models. SC4 Plus, the really the dark, the, the under the radar rods are the IAC glass rods in the lineup. Uh, the 72HM, 72MM, 74MHM, uh, some of my favorite rods in the entire lineup. Especially that 72HM, it is such a unique rod with that IAC, IAC glass in it. Great, great. So a great extension, uh, s some very innovative uh, new designs on these on these new swim bait rods. Another great product, another uh, win for St. Croix for best freshwater rod. Thank you, thank you. ICAST 2022 in Orlando. Congratulations, Amen. thank you for thank joining us. Thank you so us. much, yeah, appreciate absolutely. it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we are here in a booth and a brand that's brand new to Tackle Warehouse, brand new to the market. This is the Bahio booth and what do you know? They won an award for best eyewear. It's the shades I'm wearing right now. 
tell us all about these. Yeah, you know, brand new booth. It's our second year at iCast, but I did the math. Bahio, in our building, we have 300 years of combined sunglass experience. We launched a brand about three years ago based on three things. Have the absolute clearest sunglass technology, provide incredible customer service, and if you care about the planet, there's no, no one more sustainable. The Roca itself, big frame for those big melons out there. Not a lot of people really cater to that. We have a frame to fit those big heads. Nice spring hinges, built-in sun ledges as we call them with really just extra protection. Just the right amount of thick side shield, not too thick, not too thin. Nose, rubber nose pads with venting, and that pre-drilled temple tip if you want to put a little snap swivel in there. Fit the big heads, amazing, our lapis technology, which is not only gonna block the yellow light, it's gonna block all the blue light. It'll be a clearly, pun intended, difference when you walk outside compared against anybody else. You, you know, uh, there's nothing worse than having the wrong fit, the wrong eyewear, mm -hmm. long day on the water, especially these long summer days yep. when sometimes, uh, you know, a dawn, and du dawn to dusker could be a 14 hour day. Yep. Uh, and you just don't realize how, how much your eyes are fatigued. You, so uh, that lapis technology, when we take all the blue light, you know, we hear about blue light on our screens, on TVs, but the sun is the largest uh, producer of blue light in the world and we can eliminate all that bad blue light. And you're talking about weight, those long days, you know, you, you get the, you're rubbing your nose, you take your glasses off. We use 60% of our frames made out of bioresin. It makes them lighter, stronger, more durable, and better for the planet. Awesome, awesome. And uh, a fit for every head, uh, that's, that's great. And uh, looking forward to a great partnership with a great new company at Tackle Warehouse. Uh, these will be available for pre-order on the site coming up soon. So you said these Rokas are for fitting a big melon, right? You think the skipper from Gilligan's Island, it will fit him. Okay, I think I know who's got the biggest melon in the world. All right, let's find him. Dan, come with me. Come here, come here. Hey, Schmittles, I don't care who you're talking to. I don't know what's going on. These are for you, buddy. <laughs> Woo! All right, I'm here in the Sims booth with John. John, you guys won. The, uh, it's a mouthful here. It's the best in show, warm weather, technical apparel, iCast Award at iCast 2022. Congratulations. It's for an addition to the Solar Flex family. Tell us all about this. Yeah, well, first off, I would just say we're super excited to win this award because this particular category has a ton of entrants. Um, so, yes, this is the Solar Flex Guide Cooling Hoodie. Um, this is, in my opinion, the most technical. Uh, warm weather piece of gear we've ever released. Um, I always say at first glance it really just looks like a run-of-the-mill kind of UV protective uh, shirt. However, I'm going to walk you through this. There's a lot going on here, a lot to be excited about. So first off I'm going to start with this fabric. Um, so this is a really nice high-performing solar, solar tech fabric, solar knit fabric, I'm sorry. And if you touch it you're going to notice that you have a cooling effect uh, next to skin. Um, that is from a technology that we've incorporated called uh, Burr Triple Effect Cooling Technology. That's applied at the yarn level, which basically means that technology is not going to wash out. It's going to last the life of the garment. So once again, on those hot days, you're going to get a, bit, a, a little bit of cooling relief from that. And then also, for full sun protection, we've got a nice big three-panel uh, three panel hood. Uh, and then also, we have kind of hard to show here but we've got an integrated sun gator and so a couple cool things going on here uh, we've got uh, laser cut holes so you're not going to fog your sunglasses up uh, we've also incorporated what we call a stay strap so that's going to keep that sun gator up on your face and keep you protected all day long um, we also have two snaps to also aid in helping to keep that gator up. And then finally, if you don't want to wear the gator, this is designed in such a way, all you have to do is take it, pull it over your head, and you drop it down your back, and it's out of the way. Um, this is UPF uh, rated sun protection. We also have articulated sleeves that we've uh, actually made a little bit longer, so you're going to get more sun protection on your hand. And then whether you're casting or pulling a skiff, whatever it might be, we've got these thumb loops. Uh, to keep the sleeves in place. And then finally, when you turn it around, you've got a nice big zippered stash pocket on the back. So if you want to chirp with your buddies and find out where the uh, fish are, you can keep your phone back there, keep it out of the way, uh, but still have it on your body. And so let's turn this guy around one more time. And uh, yeah, that is the uh, Sims uh, Guide Cooling Hoodie. 
and we're just super proud of that award. I know that, that category, a win in that category is hard fought, so we're super proud. You know, like you said, there are a lot of entrants into this category. There's a lot of great products. There's a lot, a lot of great Solar Flex products. Um, and really, this, this thing incorporates a lot of my favorites uh, of previous Solar Flex uh, shirts. I, I love the little thumb holes, keep, keep my hands covered. Yeah. Um, I'm, I try to be great about sunscreen. I'm not always great. The hood is fantastic, but so many days it's only great until about 9, 9.30 when the wind starts coming up and then it's flopping back. So everything's been thought of here. I hate being hot. <laughs> I love being on the water, hate being hot. This is gonna address so many things, keep you, calm, uh, keep you cool, keep you comfortable, keep you protected on the water and a very well-deserved uh, category win. Another win for Sims. Congratulations, John. Thank you for joining us. Thank you These so much. These will be available soon on the site at TackleWarehouse.com. Okay, folks, that's it for the, for the best of show from ICAST 2022 in Orlando. We're about ready to get out of here. That wraps it for the entire ICAST 2022. We'd just like to give a great big shout out and thank you to everybody that's been working behind the scenes, our videographers, our video editors, our web team and marketing team that has been working for months to bring all this coverage to you guys. Uh, also make sure you get on tacklewarehouse.com and vote for the viewer's choice best to show uh, for this year, for 2022. That will enter you to win great prizes from all of our vendor partners uh, who you've seen all kinds of great new products from here in Orlando. Thanks so much for tuning in this week uh, and good fishing.